Good afternoon. We're just preparing for our live show. Got my numbers ready. Got my items setting out. Getting everything in order here. Hi, we're about ready here. Which page is first? Page is the one with number one on it is first. Hello, Leanne, how are you? Thanks for joining us today. What we'll do is just go over a few rules of how our show works. I will show an item. Once I show the item, I'll hold up the number and I'll give a price. Um, and to claim it, you just comment with that number. The first person to comment that I see on my screen is the person that gets the item. And um, all the items do not include shipping. The shipping is actual shipping. Once I um, get all the orders in, I go through and I add uh, the shipping. And then I send you the, I put everything in a box, I weigh it, and then I send you a receipt with the actual shipping. I usually try to hold the shows uh, no more than an hour and a half. Tonight we have a small, uh, a good variety, but they're all small because I am not at home today doing this. I'm at my daughter's. So we're going to go on and get started because I don't believe in holding people up. So we have a little bit of everything. So the first item tonight that we have is these little kittens. They're two little cats. They're sitting on a book. And this, um, there's markings on the bottom, it's just numbers. I don't know if you can see those numbers. Hi, Carrie, thanks for joining us. Riding through Kentucky on my way home to Indiana from Florida. Perfect time to shop. Wow, thanks. Beautiful weather you had this week. So this little set of cats here is number 28, and they are $7. Normally, I do post the price, but I didn't bring my other tags. So this little set of cats is number 28. They're number 28, and it is $7. Number 28. Yeah, 28 and it is $7. I'll reach those over to you. Okay. Our next item is item number three is a puppy. We have this cute little puppy here. And he doesn't have any marks on, maybe he do up under here, let's see. No, no marks on the bottom. But I would think he's from the 70s. And this little puppy is number 35 and it is $3. And um, he's in good shape, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think one of the little flowers may be chipped off of right here. So it is $3 and it is number 35. And at the end of the show, I do go back over and do a, um, a read, just kind of showing all the items that was posted that's still available, okay? The next set is more puppies. It's a set of three puppies. We have this one, and these are by Honko. And each one do have a number on the bottom. Hi, Rebecca, thanks for joining me. Okay, let me hold it that way. You can see it better. This one is number 1405. This is the second of the little puppies. And this one still have the gold home code tag on it. Let me hold my hand up here and maybe kind of get 
make that angle just right to see the label. Yeah, there you go. This is Homeco as well. And then the third little puppy is this one here. We still have his label on as well. So it's the set of three, hi Janice. It's the set of three puppies. This little one here, the one with the shoe and the one setting up. And it is number 39, they're number 39. And for the three puppies, it is $12, number 39 for the three puppies. And my helper this evening is Alyssa. Oh, let me do it. I'm not sure how you do that. So you get the three puppies, number 39, and they are $12. I think this is the next one. We have a lot of little animals, little pets this evening. Hi, Chicago lady. Thanks for joining us in the Fugal Magpie. We have these two little kittens here. Two kittens. There are no markings. And they are about four inches tall and probably about four inches wide as well. One is kind of like, look at that cute expression. It's kind of peeping. And the other one is inquisitive, just looking all around. And this is number 13. And it is $5. Number 13 is $5. I know I changed it. Thank you. Yeah. Next, we have this beautiful Wedgwood cup. And I'm not sure, I would use this in a bathroom, you know, maybe to store some toothbrushes in or something like that. And it is by Wedgwood. And this cup, what is my first name? My first name is Patrika. If you're talking, oh, you're talking to Chicago no, lady. lady. Okay, okay. And this cup is about four inches tall. It's very clean on the inside. And this is number 17. It's number 17, this Wedgwood cup. And it is $5 as well. Number 17. And it's $5. and it's porcelain. Okay. Next we got a porcelain salt and pepper shaker. I'm not sure which one. Oh, this little set here. It is an anniversary set for the 25th wedding anniversary, silver wedding anniversary, which I think is 25. They do have their stoppers in the bottom. And they're by Lefton, I believe. Yeah, they're by Lefton, made in Japan. And these are about three inches, two and a half, three inches tall. They're very clean. They're number four. And they are $5. I'm all off. We just changed the price, I, you know, to the, I had picked up the wrong item. Okay, that's number four, and they're $5. Okay. The next is this pair of swans. I'm really not sure what they're for, but it's a set of two swans. This is swan number one. There's no markings on the bottom. And this is swan number two. It's 
So they are a pair, and they look like this. Let me move my finger down a little bit for you to see that. And they're number 15, and they're $6 for the set. So they're $6 for the set, and it's number 15. So that's number 15 for this pair of swans. They have a little gold. Their little bills are gold. It has a little flower trim here. And this is number 15, and they are $6. Next thing is this little jewelry box. It's real pretty. It's just a floral print. That's the inside. It's pretty clean on the inside as well. Have a mirror up at the top. And it is about six inches this way and about four inches like from here to there, from side to side, it's hinged at the bottom, at the back. It has a gold brim around the two sides where it opens and closed. And this jewelry box is number 11, and it is $5. Number 11, and it's $5. I'm going to show you the inside of that. And that's number 11, and it's $5. Number 11. And the next thing we have is a sailboat stopper. Did I take that out even? Hmm. Well, I don't see that item. Maybe I'll come across it and we'll come back to that. The next thing Hi, San Tricia, how are you? Uh, did you get number 11, Alyssa? Did you yes, mark it down? It. Okay, she has it, okay. Okay, the next is these cute little uh, porcelain puppies. They are French Bulldogs, I believe. It's a set of two. They're tiny. They are made in Japan. Let me see if I can turn that one up to you to see his leg. It's on the inside of his leg. And this one is stamped on Japan. So it's a set of two. This little puppy here is about two and a half inches from here to there high and probably three inches long. There's no chips, cracks, or anything like that. And this one here, you can see the difference in size. This one is about three, three and a half inches. And, but he's about maybe four inches long from the tip of his nose to the back leg. And this is number 25 and it's $6 for the pair of puppies. It's $6 for the pair and it's number 11. 25. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 25. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if my daughter wasn't here helping sometimes. Okay, so that's number 25, and it is $6 for this little pair of porcelain puppies. They're made in Japan. Trinket box. This here is this adorable trinket box. It's about four inches in diameter from here to there across, maybe three and a half. There's no chips, cracks, or anything like that. And it is does still have its tag on it right here. It's very hard to read that, but there is a tag, and it says... I'm not sure of what it says, but it's made in Japan. I can read that. I'm going to hold it up here again. So somebody recognized the little logo there. It has gold trim here. 
at the base and gold trim around here and beautiful flower design in the center. It is about, hi Pat, I'm at the grocery store, sorry, late. We'll do a, re -re a review of everything at the end. Hi Pamela. And this is about two and a half, three, uh, about two inches tall, four inches in diameter. And it is number three. This is number three and it's $5 for the trinket box. It's $5. So again, that's number three and it is $5. And the next thing is, is something different I was trying. I have two different lots of them, but it'll be their clip-on earrings. And it's four pair in each one of the sets. I don't, maybe I can lay them on here. I've never did the earrings before. I probably should have clipped them on like this from the beginning. But it's this pair here. Okay, a little pearl pair. And the pearl pair, instead of being just a regular clip, it has the screw one on there. Let's put that on there. Then there is a larger pearl pair with the screw on as well. These are too heavy for the paper. And then the last pair is this silver pair here. Let's see if I can get those clipped on there. So it's these four pair of earrings here. And so you get four pair of earrings. Oops. And it's number 14. And it's $8 for the four pair of earrings. So that's number 14. And you get four pair earrings. So I'll hold them up to show you again close. You get this pair here. You get this pair here. And they're all clip on. You get this pair here. And you get this little screw on pair here. There are some markings on the earrings, but it is very little, so I really cannot tell you what it says. But to get four pair of earrings, they're number 20, they're number 14. What did I do with the card right here? Number 14 for four pair of vintage clip on earrings. So I'm going to reach into you just like that to keep up with those. And then we have another lot of earrings as well. And it's again, it's four pair. This one may have five pair in them. So you get this pair here. You get some of the little button pearl earrings with the screw back. You get this pair of gold ones here. You get this pair here. Yeah, this pair, has, this lot has five pair in them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this one has five. You get these large button ones here. And this is about three quarters of an inch. And these are number 23 for the five pair earrings and they are $8. Number 23 for the five pair of clip on earrings. Oh, and well, since she's on, I had the pleasure of meeting Joanne the other day in Durham, North Carolina, and we had a great day hanging out together. And thanks again, Precious Lavender Buttons. Girl with kitten. What is that? Girl with kitten. Look at this. We have this girl here. She's about five inches tall. She has two little kittens with her, one over here and one over there. She's churning butter, I guess. There's no markings. 
She's got the cutest little expression on her face. Like she's just so content. And she is number 43. And it is $5. That's number 43. And it's $5, number 43. Thanks, Pat. Had a great time. Yeah, I did too. So that is number 43, and she's $5. And the next thing I have, it's going to be kind of hard to show, but I have it a lot of, um, my daughter's handing them to me, Olympic pins. It's a whole bunch of them. I would, it's more than 20. Um, this one's from like the 1996 Olympics. This was from Atlanta. This is another one from Atlanta. This one's from Atlanta. This one had, I think the name was Iggy mm -hmm. from the Olympics in Atlanta. This one is from Sydney 2000. This one, I'm not sure what that says. But they're all Olympic pins. Another Atlanta. So all together, how many would you think it is? Ooh, a lot. Yeah, it's a it's lot. A lot. Around 20 or so. It's more than that. So I'm going to show you a few more, but it's a huge lot of them. This one here. Here's a Coca-Cola pin. And these have this type of pin backs on them, most of them. Here's one of the spoons from Atlanta. Here's a McDonald's and Amoco gas station, which I don't even think Amoco's around anymore. Uh, another Atlanta. This one has a Georgia peach on it. Another, another one. This one is from, this got that uh, McDonald's guy on it. What's it, the smuggler? The hamburger? Hamburglar, I'm sorry, hamburglar. You can just hand them to me in my hand, a bunch of them. Cause it's a lot of these pins. And this whole allotment of pins is number 16 and is $20 for all of them. And I'll tell you in a minute how many it is. As you can see, here's another handful and another handful. And they're all Olympic. Okay, someone's planted. Okay, number 16, Sandy. Okay. And I have sold lots and lots of these on Etsy for like $10 each, $6 each, but I just got tired of listing them. It just takes me a while sometimes. But like I say, it is a lot of pins. So I'm going to put all of these back in the bag. And while I'm putting them in the bag, I'll kind of count through them so you can see how many you're getting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is a cute one. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It's about 31, at least 31 pins. Okay. And if you'll lay that like the stuff that somebody's buying down on the floor that way I can um, we have you down for that Trisha thank you next we have some left in birthday girls I had a tragedy one because I was packing it and um, you know bringing it I live in North Carolina my daughter lives in South Carolina so I packed all this stuff to bring with me we have a, the number four a four year old Jose, Joseph a birthday girl. 
She is about four inches tall. She still have her sticker on her. She's in mint condition. There's no chips, cracks, or anything. And I have on her birthday girl. I'm on the wrong page somewhere. You see them? Oh, it's on the second page. I have $10 on her. That's for the um, four-year-old birthday girl. And that's number 16. You that, just I, just, number I just, 16. oh, I'm sorry. They put that on there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's number 22. That's number 22. And that's for the four-year-old. And she is in mint shape. see it's on the second page okay about four down from the top i want to set her over there then we have the one-year-old birthday girl we have the one-year-old birthday girl and she's about two and a half three inches tall she's in mint there's no chips cracks or anything like that and she's number 31 and she is $10 as well. And then the last one, like I say, had an accident in travel. But she can be glued back together and meant, I mean, without even seeing it, where she's glued. The number three kind of separated right there. So I can glue that back on before it's actually shipped. And then her arm came off, but it was a clean break. And this is her arm. And she did still have her little tag on, her little sticker. And this would be, um, I'll do this for $2. I'll do it for $2. And if someone gets the other two, I will just throw this one in, okay? So I'm gonna do her for $2. And she's number 30. So she's free with the purchase if you get the other two. But once she gets glued back together, it'll be very hard to even see where she was glued. Now I'm back to the first page. It's the uh, Lefton birthday girl. We have this birthday girl here, which is a vintage Lefton birthday girl, and this is for a 10-year-old. She does still have her sticker and her label. And it says um, the collection, the Christopher collection by Lefton, and it does have numbers on it. And this birthday girl here is number 27, and she is $8. That's number 27. That's number 27. That's for the left and birthday girl. We have these here. They're the little pin cushion little girls, and they are by um, yeah by uh, Napro N A P C O Wear. Okay, you got that one for twenty seven. What are you looking for? Stickies. Your stickies. There's some more right here. So these here are number 33. And they are $3 each. And you can put down uh, yellow or blue on this one. They're number 27. I have a yellow one. Number 33. Number 33. And they are $3 each. Either yellow or blue. And they both still have their tags on them, their stickers. That one has that one. 
Okay, so precious buttons. Okay. Okay, so precious buttons, which one do you want? Um, Joanne, you want the blue or the yellow or both? Well, uh, well um, let's see. Okay, okay, Sue says both, but I think the first person I seen was was jo Joanne, yeah. the precious. Uh -huh. You want the yellow or blue? Both. Both. Okay, she'll, she'll put you down for it. Okay. Then we have this little pair of salt and pepper shakers. Have lots of salt and pepper shakers today. And it does still have the label on them. A little sticky label. These are about maybe two, two and a half inches tall. The hat part is what screws off, if I remember right. Oh, I think. Maybe not. Maybe on this one, the stopper comes out. They do have their original stopper. I had another set of these. And this is number 47, and it is $3 for the pair. That's number 47, and it's $3 for the pair. The top of the salt one, the pepper is in great shape. The top of the salt one do have a little bit of um, crazing like or cracking like kind of around the lid of it. But other than that, the paint is in super good shape. That's number 47 and precious lavender buttons, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Okay, she have you down for that. Uh, next, salt and pepper shakers is these little bears here. It's a pair of bears. They are salt and pepper. They're in great shape. There are no markings on the bottom. They are about two and a half, three inches tall. They have the same expressions almost. One half, the little mouth part of one is red and the mouth of the other one is kind of a black color. So that's how you can tell which is salt and which is pepper. Of course, the pepper have two holes, salt has three. This is number 10, and it is $3 for the pair. That's number 10 for the bare salt and pepper shakers. With graduation coming up, I thought this would be a great item for the day. It's for a little guy graduating. He's about six inches tall. And it is by a Nesco 1982, and it's called A Day to Remember. Did you see that? A Day to Remember. And it's by a Nesco. He's in great shape. There's no chips, cracks, or anything like that. He has his diploma in his hand. He's all ready to go off to college or graduating from college to a job. And that's number 33. And he's $5. 33 and that's $5. And it's by Nesco. We have a pair, they're very delicate. I don't see any chips, cracks, there's no petals missing. It's a pair of candle holders. It's a set of two. They are identical. And you either could set them on the table like this, with the two candles on the outside, or like this here. So
So it's a set of two Magnolia candle holders and it's $15 for the pair. And it is number 18. It's $15 for the pair. They did have a mark on them, but it some type of way got removed. And that one is the bottom, but they're really nice. And they hold like the taper style candles. I used 33 twice. Okay. Um, I see 23. Where did I, did I even, my screen for her screen froze. Okay. Oh, I did use 33 twice. I'm sorry. Number 18. I'm sorry. Number 18. This is number 18 for the candle holders. That's number 18. I didn't even have to put that on there. Thank you. So that's number third, number, number 18. And they're $15 for the pair. I can say my right baby. Thank you. Puppy in gray and white. These little puppies here. Got this adorable set of little puppies. They're small. This one's about three inches tall and probably about three inches long. Um, they were made in Taiwan. And they was purchased at the V&S Variety Store. I don't, I have never heard of that one. At the time, they were only a dollar and twenty-five cents. So I did go on and leave the original label on. They're very clean. They're white porcelain, kind of a, a glazed bisque porcelain. And it's number forty-five. And these are three dollars. They're three dollars for these little cute little puppies. This is just something that I, I think it's kind of cute. It's like an hourglass sand timer. It has the salt sand in it and it's slowly draining to the other side. It has a little seahorse in it, a little like seaweed, some seashells, and it's flat on one side on the back and then it's shaped kind of like that. And this is about four inches tall that up tight, put my hand behind it so you can just do like this and that way you can see it better probably. Let's see what it actually looks like. I have it upside down. And this little sand timer is number two and it's $4. That's number two and it's $4. And I had kind of timed it, but honestly, I forgot what it, how much time it takes for it to all, you know, go to the other side. So that's number two, and it is four dollars. Number two. Thank you, Leanne. And this is just another little trinket. I don't know when I go thrifting. Um, they're usually two minutes. Thank you. Is I found this cute little kitten on a basket. It is nothing special. I don't think it's old. The cat is kind of like a resin or whatever, but he's very clean and he's sitting on his basket. Show you that face up close. Sitting on a little red gingham pillow. And it is number... It is $3 and it's number 40. It's a little kit on the basket. It's number 40. I just thought that was kind of cute. And Friday's child. Okay. This little girl, I wish I had some money to spend. I buy lunches. Oh, thank you. But you know, you can always go back when you get some funds and um, 
and see what's left. But I appreciate uh, you watching. This is Friday's Child. Oops. I believe this is by Inesco, yes. And it says uh, Lucy Rig License Inesco, and this is from 1986. And it's adorable little bear that says Friday's Child. She's about three inches tall. She's $4 and it is number 24 for Friday's Child, number 24. Number 24, Friday's Child. And then the next item, I'm going to do Easter's right around the corner. And it's not too late because I will mail these items out on Monday or Tuesday. So you'll have it in plenty of time for Easter. But it's this cute little plush bunny. And it's by the Rushton Company from Atlanta. That's the original tag there. This is the original hind tag. And then it has the information about the Rushton Company on it, on this part here. He still has his original ribbon on. His eyes are kind of an orange color. And I'm going to start this off for t at $10 for this little Rushton bunny. He's about six inches from the tip of his pom-pom nose to his little fluffy tail. So this will start off at $10 and I will set my timer. He's a real, his, his fur is real soft to be some of the older furs because I know sometimes they were kind of, didn't feel quite as soft. And I'm not sure of the date on it, but um, this was sewn in Haiti. It has uh, synthetic fur and also synthetic foam filling. So he's filled with foam versus how most things now is polyfill. And uh, it says it's bean bag. So part of this, it does have bean bags in it as well. So it'd be a nice little addition to if you're doing like a vintage style Easter, or you want to give somebody that, um, maybe some people might even remember these from when they were a child. So I'll give this just a few more seconds and then I'll move on if no one is interested. So that's the Rushton Bunny and I was starting him off at $10. Okay. So we'll go on and move on. We'll come back to him at the end of the show. As you can see, I like teeny things. I like small stuff. Okay, we have this creamer and sugar set, but this is actually the sugar. And this is the little creamer that goes with it. It has the fruit painted on it. It's no markings on the bottom, but if I had to guess, it looks very similar to some uh, Nippon. It has the gold handles. This is the little top. The little top have a little gold there. There's no markings. There's no chips, cracks, or anything like that on it. This is about two and a half, three inches tall. Same thing here with the top. And this set here is $10 for the set and it's number 42 for the creamer and sugar. And it's number 42. So that's number 42 for the creamer and sugar. It has the fruit painted on the front. It just kind of have that flair like the Nippon look.
Cat Salt and Pepper Shaker. Black. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. These are so cute. I love these right here. I do. I really do. This is a set of salt and pepper shakers. They're identical. Well, one's holding a bouquet of flowers, and this one is holding the bouquet of flowers in the little basket. And they are, they do have the original tag, and you can see that the Edith collection. I never can say that Otegra. Um, they're hand painted. They're about four inches tall. And this set is that's all pepper shake. It's fifteen dollars, and they're number nineteen. They're number 19. I love on the apron how it has like engraved kind of into the porcelain. It has a little flower design. Then it has hand painted flowers on the back. Okay. Okay. There's one thing. There's hers. Thank you. Salt and pepper ducks. We have this pair of ducks. Ducks, goose, whatever. Perfect for a farmhouse set. They are stamped made in Japan. They have their original cork still in them. So it's the pear. It's about three inches tall. And they are $8 for the pear. And it's number nine for the pair of salt and pepper ducks. We have a farmhouse kitchen. The coloring is really nice on them and everything. And they're number nine. And they are $8 for the pear. So now I'm going to go to these other salt and pepper shakers. Now this set here. Okay, let's see one more time. Okay, this set here, this is a beautiful set here. I love the um, design on them. I love the painting. They're white, like kind of a creamy white porcelain trimmed with the gold. I'm collecting salt and pepper shakers. In my booth, I have a whole bunch of them in my booth. I'm going to share a picture of my booth. Maybe one day next week, I'll go down and do a video, video of it. But it's this pair of salt and pepper shakers. They are so pretty to me. I love, they're just so soft and dainty. They're about two and a half inches tall. It's the pair. They have a, um, they have the original stopper in them. And this is eight, number eight, and they are $10 for the pair. They're number eight, and it's $10 for the pair. I'm going to hold those up together. Okay. Is it the Lester song? No, it's the ones on my list that says silver anniversary, actually. Okay. But, you know, I had gotten confused earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're number eight. And then the next ones, we have another pair of salt and pepper. This is Luster. Luster wear. Um, they are do have a stamp on it. So they're made in Japan. This one has a stopper, and something is in here. I don't know if it's a piece of hard um, salt or pepper. I don't know whether it was a stopper. But I was trying to get this stopper out and I couldn't, so I just left it alone. So this salt and pepper shake pair here is only six dollars, and it's number number forty four. So it's number forty four for this luster wear salt and pepper. 
and uh, they're six dollars. Hi, Badoodles. Oh, you're pretty ladies. Hey, hey to everybody. Thank you. Number 30, well, number 34. Okay, let me just put this tag on. Oh, okay. 44. Okay. And the next one, poodle base. You see a base that looks like a poodle. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. This. These here are made in Japan. It's actually a little, I think this is a poodle. That's what I would call it. And it's also a little cat one, I think. They're, they're stamped Japan on them. Both of them. <laughs> Your collection is growing. <laughs> and this set here is $10 for the set. And I'm going to show you why in just a minute. So because on the one of these, I cannot find it, but one of them have a little chip on it around this brim someplace. I'm going to reach it to my daughter so she can see if she see it. But it's this set here. They're made in Japan and they are stamped Japan in, into the porcelain. And the lady I bought a lot of this collection from, she's like, she was, I know I've had these at least 10 years, maybe. And I think she was like 80 some years old or something then. And she said she had had them forever. So I would, I guess they're probably from like the thirties. I see it now. It is very, it's very faint and it does not go all the way through. Can you see that little line right there? Yeah, and it does not go all the way through. And that's why basically I'm charging $10 for that one and throwing that one in for free. And it's $10 for the set and it's number 21. Number 21. And they are about three inches, four inches tall, four inches tall. But they're really, um, I've had these for a long time. But since I have moved, I need to downsize some of my stuff. Then with the holiday coming up and weddings and so forth, we have a little bride and groom. Okay. We have a bride and groom. It's one of those, um, like sachets, poly, uh, polymanders or something like they're called, pomodors or something they're called. Okay, whose name on that? Oh, okay. And these are about five inches tall. As you can see, they have the holes in the back that allows the scent to come out. She has holes along here, which allows the scent to come out as well as here. And this whole stopper comes out, it's by Cody. And it's made in Taiwan, so it's probably from the 70s. Yes, polymander, pomander. I have the worst problem saying a lots of words. <laughs> and this little set here is $5 and it's number 12. So that's $5 and it is number 12. And they're in perfect shape, there's no cracks, um, chips or anything like that and I mean they look at that face and that's number 12 and it's five dollars next thing I have is a cat if I had to guess it's probably this little sand cat here do I use any more oh no 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 it's this cat it's this cat It was sitting right there. Okay, this little cat here. He's in really good shape. There's no markings or anything on him. 
there. And he is about mm, almost six inches long from the tip of his nose to the tip of the tail. It's probably about four inches. He is, if I had to guess, he's, um, he's porcelain. And this little cat is number one and it is five dollars. That's number one and it's five dollars. Taz right here. How many people remember the Tasmanian devil? From was he on like Bugs Bunny or something? Mm -hmm. Well, he the he was a Looney Tune character, but with the way things are going, they're probably going to be pulling him off because he was not the nicest of person, people, or Tasmanian people. And this is from uh, Warner Brothers, the Looney Tune, whatever, 1997. It's just made in China. There's the label. He's about four and a half inches tall. I used to say bone chun a little, but they got out of hand. No, nope, I know what you mean. And he is number 38 and he's $3. Cause the rate they're going pretty soon, half of the cartoons that I remember as a child is gonna be gone. <laughs> my daughter said same thing with the ones that she's a kid when she was a kid 30 was that 38 yes number 38 okay then we have a, a cat pin cushion oops can't hardly see that there's no markings or anything it's a white porcelain um, let me feel around here. There's no chips or cracks or anything like that on these little flowers and leaves. It's a very thin porcelain. And this is $4 and it's number 20. $4 and it's number 20. It would look great with the little um, other little pin cushions that Joanne had gotten early. So this is number 20 and it's $4. Oh, you're going to be working faster than mine. Mine art? Uh huh. Number 20. I don't, I don't really guess what it was. Oh, a pin cushion? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This I'm re-gifting. Somebody gifted this to me, and I'm not this type of person, but it's a little bag tag or a key ring. Oh, that came in a secret sound on here. Oh, that's where it came from. <laughs> I couldn't remember where it came from. He's really pretty, though. What kind of bird would you say this is? Is it a toucan? A toucan, my daughter is saying. And it's the enamel painted. It almost looks like that opens, but it doesn't. And this is about two and a half, three inches. And I cannot read what that says. But you know, this little opening right here just opens and you can clip something onto that. It comes in this beautiful little bag. And this is six dollars. It's sitting on this little gold branch, and no stones. Not sure. That stone missing? No, I don't think any stones. No, no stones look like they're missing or anything. And this is number twenty nine. Number 29, and it is six dollars. Okay. 
Okay, that's number 29 and it is six dollars. Which one? The bride and groom? Yeah. Number 12, yes. She did. Oh, the next thing, I really don't know what this is, but his face kind of makes me smile. It's just a little pig uh, figurine. I don't know where I got this from. Honestly, I don't. But anyway, he, he, he's kind of a happy little pig. There's no markings or anything. He's about four inches and it's number five and he's $3. Number five, and it's three dollars. Number five, and it is three dollars. But he's just a happy little pig. Do you know what girl? Who is that? Oh. We have this little growing up girl by Anesco. This is a three year old. She's about three and a half, four inches. There's no chips, cracks, or anything. The little doll's legs are separate and everything. Her fingers. She does have her sticker. Well, it says this is not a toy for decorative use only. And she is growing up, girl. She is $8, and she's number 50. Number 50, $8. Girl with carriage. Do you see a girl with a baby carriage? What's that in the very Here she is, right here. Here she is. And it's no marks on this, but it, it kind of reminds me of a couple of pieces that I have that was painted, hand painted in Germany. And she is about uh, about five and a half inches tall. Let me show you her face up close. And then she has her little baby carriage. And in her carriage, she has a little doll. It's kind of hard to angle it just right for you to see the little doll. And she is $10. And she's number 46. Number 46, she's $10. And another one of those little teeny things. It's a little lamb, very kitschy looking. I would say 50-ish and this little puppy. The little puppy is about, it's less than two inches. I would say an inch and three fourths. There's no chips or cracks or anything. And the little lamb is about right at maybe two and a quarter. But look at that face, look at them eyes. This one just have little dot eyes. And this little pair is $5. And it is number, which I'm gonna have to make some numbers. I'm just going to start at 60 because I know I don't have any numbers that high, so I'm going to be repeating. This is number 60 for this pair here. It's the little lamb. I don't believe, no, I don't think anything is chipped of those little flowers up there. Yeah, she looks so happy. So it's the little puppy and the little lamb and it is $5 for the pair and it's number 60. Okay. Hold on, I just gotta write a few other numbers out. Okay, seal paperweight. 
I'm not sure again, but I make up stuff all the time. This is a little seal. And I'm saying it's a paperweight. He's very heavy. And it's about five inches long if you measure. He's like a frosted glass, has little hand painted, um, the little texture here along there. And this is number 61 and it is $6. Number 61 and it is $6 for this little seal. Okay, number 60, did you get that one, Lisa? Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a little lag. Okay, see, and usually you're faster than me. I usually. know. Okay, there you go. You got it? Okay. The next thing, make another number. We're getting almost to the end. Oh, 61. Okay, that is. You can just write it. Huh? Matt Ty. Oh, she was the first one? Okay. Yeah. This adorable, this cute. Uh, who was first on the seal? Uh, the Fugal Magpie is who we have. On um, the seal? No, no, uh, number is lavender, but number no, 61. 61, oh, 61, yeah, the magpie. Yeah, one. magpie, yeah. I have a ton of seal, well, not a ton, but you used to rescue. Where do you live that you used to rescue them? But it's this little toothpick holder. I guess somewhere on the West Coast is what I would get. And it does have numbers on it. There's no other marks or names. Let's put it in the box. And this is number 70. And it is $6 as well. Number oh, she lives in Ireland. And I, oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. So that's number 70. And it's this little panda toothpick holder. Same cast cats. Okay, this next one, I'm going to make these all three of these go together. They're the sand, uh, sandy cast cats. And it is engraved in there up under that label. This one is missing a little of the paint, but it's not a chip. Maybe this ear may have a little tiny chip on it. It's this one, this adorable one here. Look at that, look, look at the face. And then this one here is not the same, but it is one of, it says stone critters on this one, but it's the same type of feel. So we're gonna do these three cats. They're gonna be number 82. And it's eight dollars for the three one, three cats. There's number eighty-two. I know I kind of got off the list just now. That's number eighty-two, and it's eight dollars for the three cats. Garden girl, to I had skipped. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, so we got this garden girl here. She's not particularly old, but she came from Kmart and she's made in Korea. And here's the original Kmart label still on it. She was $3.97 at Kmart at the time. And I have $6 on her. $6 and it's number 65. This whole thing is like a little arbor. This is about maybe six inches tall, five, six inches tall. Yes, taller than that card, which is a three by five. And it's number 65. Let's 
So we number 48, so you can ignore that number because I put them in a lot together. I did. I oh, okay. That. And this is real strange, this little thing here. It's like a little rabbit, but look at this. That's what I think, like a little jackrabbit maybe. But then here it has the cute little soft bunnies there on that part of it. It is made in Japan. It is done. It is number 49 on your list. It's number 49 on your list. I'm looking for it. Is you on the page before that? Yeah, I see 48 and then I switched skip to 51. You must not have got some reason you didn't get the last ones on that page. It's number 50, uh, it's number 62 and it is eight dollars. Number 52. Okay, pink elephant. Got number 49. What is that? Number 49. Pink elephant is 62. Oh, she said 62. 62. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have you down for that. Okay. Last, uh, on last thing, you probably don't have this on your page. You probably got cut off. It is this swan ring holder. It's made in China, but it's, it's cute. It has a little cushion bottom, so it doesn't scratch up anything, the velvety bottom. Thanks for joining us. Um, Pink Elephant, is your name Sandy? Sandra, I think. I'm trying to remember people's names. This one right here, let me make a number. Sam, I think. Is it Sam? This is Sam. 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 Okay. No. Oh, no. Got my package yesterday I... night, but that's what they call it. Number 78. And it is $5. You slip the ring right down here, and plus you can have things on the little tray around the base. And this is $5. Hi, Grace. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, so Sandy or Sam. Sam. Okay. This is number 78 and it is $5. Number 78, $5. But he's so graceful. Okay, now we're on the last page and you should have that last page number. We're going to start with the October girl. Yes. Yeah, okay. We have this October girl here. And number 78, you didn't have that on your list, right? No, but I wrote okay. it at the bottom of this page. Okay, you got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, excuse me. And she does have a mark, well, she has a sticker on the bottom of her. And the sticker says, genuine porcelain. It's got a bis finish and it's made in Taiwan. There's no chips or anything like that on her flower. And I already had some extra numbers made. This is number 81 and she is $6. Number 81. And it's six dollars. Okay, okay, Sue. Mm -hmm. You can write it if you want to write on the paper. That's quite a ponytail she's got. Right <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sue. We appreciate it. You received both and they were wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Fox. Fox salt and pepper shakers. These are cute. These, I call them a fox looking at the tails of them. They were a souvenir from bringing 
Bingham, Bingington, New York. And I don't know, he has some type of melon or something, but it's a pair of them. They are marked Japan. They are missing their stop, their stoppers at the bottom. These are about three inches, three and a half inches tall. Measure, yeah, about three inches tall. And they are number 69 and it's eight dollars for the pair. Yeah, they look like they're ready to get into some trouble, actually. What is, oh, that's just a light. So those are number 69, and it's $8 for the pair of salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Are they holding acorns? I don't know if it's an acorn. It looks kind of big for an acorn. Yeah, they look kind of big for an acorn. So I'm thinking it's a melon. Yeah, it has little lines and stuff on it. So I was thinking some type of melon. Then for those people that like little baby things, these are very, very, very dainty. They're very fresh, they're, por they're porcelain, but it's poured very, very thin. It's like a lady, she's been out in the field or something. And then she has her little teeny girl with her little daughter. But they're very, very like milk and her little pink I might be milk. I'm not sure. And they do have a tag on it that says genuine bone china. But like I said, they're very, very, very fragile. They're very dainty. And the little girl is about an inch and a quarter. And the paint on them is like really, really a nice, nice paint job. I don't know anything about them, but I would think they're pretty expensive. I don't have a lot on them, but I, I think they're very nice. They're number 85, and I have $10 on the pair, number 85. Yeah. So it's this pair here. Elephant, pink elephant. Oh, you already got it? Excuse the door. Okay, the next one is this little boy here. We're having a baby shower today. Alyssa, walk around here, please. <laughs> We're having a baby shower today. It's going to be called Talk About Tacos. Talk about a baby or something. Talk about a baby. Yeah. And this is my daughter. She's due in a month. She has about one month to go. So that's why we came down to South Carolina today. So we're excited about that. This will be like my third grandchild. I have a, uh, two little girl grandchildren. This little boy is occupied Japan. He's number 93 and he's $10. Let me show you that. His paint though is really good. Usually when I find these, uh, she said, congrats, congrats, Alyssa. Usually when I find these, the paint is kind of scratched off and stuff, but this paint is in super great shape and it's number 93 and it is $10. Then we have this little girl here. Did you get that? Yeah. We have this little girl. I think I have about five things to go after that. Then I'll do a run through for those that joined us late. This little girl here, she's about six and a half inches tall. She has her little goose or a little duck. She's holding her hat. And she's one of those pretty girls. She has her hand like. 
And there's no chips or crack. Her paint is in really good shape. There's uh, the only marking on it says made in Taiwan. So I'm imagining that's from about the 70s. And this is number 98. And she is $5. That's $5. That's number 98. I've used that number. I don't think I've used this number. Okay. Ooh, and there. This little girl here, she is actually a belle. And she is this porcelain. She's about four inches tall. She's holding her broom. And she is by Jasco 1978. This one, you're looking for the girl again. Mm -hmm. I put her all the way back there. Okay, so she's about four inches and she is number 94. And she is four dollars she's four dollars this girl with bell so that's number 94 and she is four dollars And we have this little teeny teapot. It's really, it holds spices. This one says cinnamon and it's precious moments. So of course it's by 1995, precious moments is all it says. And this is $3 and it's number 55, number 55. This is number 55. That's number 55. Sue got the doll. Mm -hmm. And Sue also got that. Puppy Trio. Oh. It's these little tiny French Bulldogs. It's a trio of puppies. They go down, down in size. This is about two and a half inches tallest, and the baby one is like a little bit under an inch, maybe. Those are from Scotties or something. Or Westies. Westies? Oh, I thought they were French Bulldogs. Yeah. Most of them. And it is stamped Japan on it. And these little bulldogs are number 53. And they are $3, a dollar a pup. Yeah, so $3, number 53, number 53. Okay, oh, that's it. Okay. And I don't know if anybody still collect these, but I used to have a ton of them and I thought I had already gotten rid of all of them, but I have one little dream sickle and it's only $3 and it is number 87 and it's $3. <laughs> I thought I had got it. I don't know where this one came from. When I was pulling through my my smalls, I found this. So that's number 87. Let's see. You wrote right on the card? Mm-hmm. Okay.
Okay, this is a um, 10 year anniversary bell. And it is by UNESCO and it's made in Taiwan. So I would say this is probably from the 70s. And on it, it says, wishing you joy on the 10th year you're wed. May you look for forward to more good years ahead. And that's for a 10 year anniversary. And this is number 51. And I have $5 on this bell, number 51. I have $5 on this bell. And it's in really good shape, no chips, cracks, or anything like that. This is a very soft pink around the base and a pink ribbon. Two more things, and then we will do a recap of everything. This ceramic bowl. Well, really, it's, it's a pottery bowl that's been glazed. It's really nice, no chips, cracks, or anything like that. And it's shades of blue. Sometimes I wish I could ring the bell and send it back. <laughs> Well, this year coming up for me is going to be year number 40. So it's almost like, you know, after that many years, it's like, oh, well. <laughs> and this is $5 for this pottery bowl, and it's number 56. This is number 56, this pottery bowl. Number 56, and it is $5. And then the very last item is this horse planter. But it's small, so for maybe like a succulent would be pretty in it. And it is made in Japan. I got it upside down. Oh, there's the mark. Yeah. And it's two horses. The little opening on there is about an inch and a half, maybe an inch and three quarters, almost two inches. This whole thing here is about six inches from the tail to the nose. It is number 52 and it is six dollars. Number 52 and it is six dollars. I just, why do I have number 52 written down on my sheet? You already have a 52? Mm-hmm. I don't what it was. Well, I'll just, uh, okay, we're going to change that number then to 152. Okay. So that's number 152. Okay, pink. Okay, we got you down. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, so now what we're going to do is a recap of everything. Okay, so we'll do a recap of what I know we have left. This is going to be random, Alyssa, so you can kind of follow along with me. Uh, we'll go back to the first page. Hand me those cats on the book that you have over there. Right, all right there. See? These people. Yes. We have uh, some cats on a book, and they are number 28, and they were $7. It's a pair of cats on the book. There's no uh, name mark, but there is numbers. And there is a little, it looks like the letter N in some type of a circle, maybe a CN maybe. I'm not real sure. And they were $7. And I tell you what I'm going to do. Let's mark these down to $6 now. So there's $6, number 28. Number 28 is $6. And they are porcelain, by the way. Then a little gray puppy. Or a little puppy. Oh, it's that little sad looking puppy with the big eyes. This one. Okay. Yeah. 
We have this little puppy here. He's number 33. 35. 35. <laughs> number 28, Alyssa, is the pink elephant. <laughs> okay, she'll get that tag for you, and thank you. This little puppy is $3, and he's number 35. Pink elephant, and that one's those cats. Yes, that's these cats right here. Okay. Uh, Noritake, you, oh, the, um, maybe, I don't know for sure. Then we have this set of three home coat puppies. They have numbers and two of them still have the little gold sticker on it. They're number 39. I initially had 12 on them. I'll do these for 10. They're for the three home coat puppies. The one with the shoe, the little one that's just, looks like he's ready to get in trouble. And the one that's just sitting around taking a look at everything, just checking out everything. Trying to figure out what those other two are doing. Okay. Wedgewood cup. Stephen, hand me that Wedgewood cup right there, please. Yes. We have this beautiful Wedgewood cup. Yeah, they're beagle puppies. This is number 17. And they're $5. Number 17 for this Wedgewood cup. Hold that, turn it up right for you to see. And that's Wedgwood. I was going to order some food in a minute. Oh, he was. Okay. What am I yeah, doing? we're going to order some food in a minute. Excuse me for talking while I'm about to ready to order some lunch in a minute. Or you can go on and make your list and get my card from Curtis. Because no, no, no. I had said I would treat for lunch. Okay. So I appreciate y'all helping me with um, porcelain salt and pepper shakers. That was the, um, that set over there by you, the 25th anniversary yes. ones. Yes. We have a pair of 25th anniversary um, salt and pepper. They're number four. I originally had $5 on it. I'll do these for $4 now, $4 for the 25th anniversary salt and pepper shakers. They're in great shape. They have the original stoppers and they're by Lefton. So these are now $4. See whatever you're laughing at yet. <laughs> okay, then the next thing are them little swans. I that pair of swans. Yeah. It's a cute little pair of swans. They're number 15. They're number 15. There are no marks or anything. They're about maybe three to four inches. And it's the pair. And this pair of swans is six dollars, number 15. Swans. I never found that jewelry box. You got the jewelry box over there. Which one? Oh, I'm so, sorry. That's so. Didn't find that. Two puppies. It's this one right here. This little puppy here, and this puppy. Both of them are made in Japan. The one puppy have it on the inside of his leg, and the other puppy have it stamped. And these puppies were number 25 and they were $6. And I'll do these little puppies didn't right now for $5. Change that price to $5. Trinket box. That's right here. Okay. We have a trinket box with hand painted flowers on the front. On the top of it, it's number three. Number three, okay. Did you get number 25? Mm -hmm. 
five right here studies. Mm -hmm. this is number three and it's this little trinket box number three and it was five dollars and i will do this now for four dollars change that to four dollars And it does have a label on it, which I'm not sure what it says. It does. I can read the part that it was made in Japan, but the name I really cannot. Okay. Okay. And then we have, is anybody interested in the earrings? Because if not, I'll just skip those. Girl with kittens. You see the girl with kitten. That's the one with that um one with the butterfly. Yeah. It's a little girl. She's about four inches. She's gonna hand it to me in just a moment. Forty-three. She's number forty-three. It's the girl with the kitten. Number forty-three. And I originally had her at five, and I would do her for four dollars right now. That's four dollars for her instead, and it's number forty-three. She's about five inches tall. There's no marks or anything on her. Okay. But look, his pants are gone. That's gone. That's gone. Oh, you said Sue. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Salt and pepper bears. Right here. There we got one. a little tiny Ten. set of these right here. They're salt and pepper bears. It's number 10. I had $3 on them and I will do them for $2. It's a set of salt and pepper bears. And so right now they're $2, number 10. <laughs> I'm having a shopping problem. <laughs> okay. Number 33 is the graduate boy. Right here. Okay, we have this little boy here. It's by Nesco. He's about six inches tall. He's number 33. And I have $5 on him. And I will do him for $4. Number 33. Magnolia candle holders. It is a pair of candle holders, a set of two. They're number 18. And I had them for 15. I'll do them for $12. $12 for the Magnolia candle holders. They hold the tall taper candles. There's no marks or anything like that on it. Yeah, these are pretty. They're just so dainty, fragile. Yeah, they're not pretty. Puppy. Uh, their gray pup is a, is there, he's, oh, here it is right here. This little set of puppies here, they're white porcelain. They're trimmed with gray paint. They're glazed with the gray. And they're number 45 and they're $3. They're a great shape and still have their original sticker on the bottom. What the door is that? It's called b &S, which is Variety Store. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's gone, that's gone. Friday's Child. It's a little bear right here. This is Friday's Child. It's a little bear. It's by Anesco. And this was number 24. And I had $4. And I'll do this for $3. Do three dollars and it is number twenty-four. Okay, 
put that on that page this time. Let's say for one thing. So I'm just gonna go in and do that. This pottery bowl is number 56 and it is five dollars. I miss those type, yeah. I used to like like SNS Presky's and Murphy's and <laughs> my daughter looked at me like, what stores is she talking about? Zayers. Zayer? Yeah. Zayer would kind of sort of. Or Woolworths. Woolworths. Yeah. Okay. That, that, everything else on that page is gone. So let's go over this page, see what's left on here. The sugar and creamer. That's the sugar and that's the creamer. It's about three inches. It is a kind of a miniature set. It kind of reminds me of something from Nippon. It's number 42 and it's $10 for the set. And I would do this for $9. This is number 42. There's no marks or anything on it. Oh, okay. Well, no, I was seeing where you were. Oh, okay, yeah. That's fine. Number eight is this. Um, Cute set of salt and pepper shakers here. I mean, it's got a really pretty design on the front. There's no marks or anything on it. There's no chips or cracks. And this was number eight. And it was $10. Yeah. Number eight. Where did I get that from? Mm -hmm. My imagination, I guess. <laughs> I have an eight written by oh the price. I think it was no. no. I don't know. I have some. Oh, I know that was no, I don't know. Anyway, I got a number eight. You don't know where I got that from. The ducks are gone, that's gone. Oh, the, I know it was number twenty nine on your sheet. Then we got a couple of birthday girls. We have this one here. This is the four-year-old birthday girl, and it is number 22, and it's $10. And then we have the one-year-old birthday girl. It's number 31, and it is $10 as well. And then if anyone is interested, I do have another birthday girl that was broken in transport, but I'm gonna glue her back together. And I have $3 on her. She's a three-year-old, but if someone buys the other two, I will ship this one with that if the same person buy it and be no charge. And it, all the pieces are there, broke off in two clean pieces, her arm and the number three. So that's either $3 or it's free if you buy the other two. So the other two is 20 together. I'll do the other two for 18 if you're buying both of them. So that would be number 22 and 31 would be 18 together. And your third one, I would be just throwing in. That's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. This little funny looking pig is number five. I had $3 and I'll do two on him. He's about maybe four inches tall. There's no marks or anything. Okay, that was the pig growing up girl right here. This okay, is- Okay, I need number five. Number five, what was number five? Just had it in my hand. The pig. And that goes to and Mr. LP. I do have your I did uh put your package. No? No. Frugal, Frugal Magpie. Okay. Mr. Um E. L. Page, I did get your package in the mail today. And thank you. We have a panda toothpick holder. This is number 70. I had $6 on him and I'll do it for five. This is Panda toothpick holder. Number five. Oh, okay. So 
What? Panda toothpick holder. Now, five dollars number seventy. What did you say? I'm trying to figure out, and she said thank you. So, who? I don't know. I think oh. they're having a conversation. Oh, okay. That was number seventy, and I marked it down to five dollars. The Garden Girl. It's about six and a half inches tall. It's number 65, and I had $6 on it, and I marked that down to five. Number 65, down to $5. Then we have a lot of sand cat, sand cast, sandy cast cats. Sue just got that one. Yes, Sue. It's a set of three cats. This is the bottom of them. And each one, it is engraved in there, but this one's got the most adorable little face. That one, this little gray one. Let me show you his face. And a couple of his little pain is kind of missing off of him. The name is engraved in there. And then the last one is not the same brand, but it's the same type of feel and everything. And so you get all three of these cats. It is number 82 for $8. That's for the three cats. That's number 82. But that face on that one there is so cute. Okay, number 82, we didn't have that. The rabbit face, that's gone. That's it. Everything else is gone. Cats pain. Uh, we got some cats. Gray what? cats, number 13. Number 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to hand them to me and tell me what the price is? Ugh. Number 13. Oh, I see it. And the... Oh, rabbit. okay. Now, well, she's showing me something else. This is number 13, and this is $5, number 13. It's these gray cats. There's no markings or anything on them. And then the last thing I have, I had offered this bunny up as an offer up. It's by the Rushton uh, Toy Company in Atlanta. That's the original label. Then it also had the original hang tag saying it's a beanbag bunny. He has a little pom-pom nose. He's super clean. And I was doing this as an offer up, starting it off at $10. He has a beanbag body. So he's very clean. And I don't know if anybody uh, familiar with uh, the... Um, Rushton Toy Company or the Rushton Company. They're the ones you're really famous for doing the Santas. I don't know if you remember those, uh, the Santas. Some of them had the Coca-Cola bottles in their hand. And I think that's what, to me, when I think of Rushton Toys, that's what our uh, company, that's what I think of. But they've been long gone. That's the original ribbon and everything. So, okay, then, well, thank you for joining me, everybody. And um, I will get them uh, invoices out. If I do not have your information, if you would send that to me, uh, email, my email is on the screen. It's bedoodles at gmail.com. And once I, I receive the uh, emails, and I today I will not be sending out emails though until Sunday because I will not be back home until late Sunday. So again, thank you. Thank you, Sandy and Janice and Chicago Lady, um, the Fugle Magpie, Mr. L. Uh, e. L. Page, uh, Tricia, the pre um, also Joanne. Just thank everybody for joining us. And I will see you next Saturday at noon. And also, I will try to, this week, I'm going to do a, um, a walkthrough of my booth to show you some of the pretties I have down there. So again, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye, everyone.